Hello and welcome to Naval Horizons. I'm Samina Mondal, a public affairs intern with the US Naval Research Laboratory, part of the Naval Research Enterprise. Today, I have the pleasure of being joined by the lovely Gabrielle McCormack, a computer engineer and Naval STEM professional. Thank you so much for joining us, Gabrielle. So Gabrielle, how exactly did you get your start in the Department of the Navy? Um, well, actually, as a sophomore at Stevens Institute of Technology, um, I was studying engineering and I really um, wanted to be a part of the Department of Defense. And, you know, I come from a long line of public servants, such as police officers, firefighters, and uh, members of the military. And I happened to find an internship for college students uh, called the Naval Research Enterprise Internship Program. So I applied to that in 2017 and I was awarded um, that internship. So I completed that in Lakehurst, New Jersey. And I loved it so much that in 2018, I decided to um, apply again. And I luckily was accepted and had another internship there. So then um, in the winter of 2018, I applied for um, this scholarship called the SMART Scholarship, which pays um, college students um, you know, their tuition in return, you can work for uh, a sponsoring facility, whoever uh, sponsors, uh, you know, your uh, participation in the program. So um, I was awarded that and then I completed another internship in 2019. And from there, I graduated college. And um, from there, I then completed a master's program um, over the next year and then was full was hired full time. Um, as a computer engineer uh, at the facility in Lakehurst that I currently work for. It's incredible. It's clear that you've had a really large plethora of opportunities in the Department of Defense and the Navy, which is great to see. Definitely. Definitely. So, so Gabrielle, could you walk us through your academic background? Sure. So um, in high school, um, I was lucky enough to be inspired by one of my computer science, actually the only computer science head teacher that was at the high school at the time. And uh, she inspired me to be in this field. And so from there, I uh, went to Stevens uh, in Hoboken, New Jersey, and I uh, received a bachelor's in engineering and software engineering with a minor in computer science. And then um, I was also a part of the four plus one master's program and from there, I completed a master's in cybersecurity. With that, <laughs> in my free time, I actually also participated in a competition with uh, the SANS Institute, and I won this other scholarship with them and was uh, given the opportunity to complete um, a, a certificate in applied cybersecurity. Um, as well as the other um, programs that I was in. So that, that was really nice and just amazing. That's incredible to see how all of your opportunities kind of jumped one off of each other, taking those chances in your career, which is great. So how exactly would you say as a computer engineer that you've used STEM in some of your internship opportunities or in your roles with the Navy? Right, so um, as I work for um, the Naval Air Warfare Center, uh, the aircraft division in Lakehurst. Um, I actually work for uh, the Advanced Arresting Gear Branch, um, or a AAG for short. Um, and what that does um, is it's the system that lands the aircrafts on the aircraft carriers, um, specifically the, the Ford class of aircraft carriers. With that, um, I work on a team, you know, obviously every single day and um, you know, utilize a lot of the skills that I acquired in college and even in high school with um, working on projects with others and um, even just, you know, programming on a day-to-day -day basis. So using those skills with computer science and programming, how exactly does your work apply to the Navy? Right. So um, with the, um, the advanced arresting gear, um, that does aid in, um, you know, obviously landing the aircrafts on, onto the ships. Um, with that, uh, you know, since it's so important to the mission um, and maintaining that software, um, because I do work for the, the software branch of uh, the Advanced Resting Gear, um, we aid in, you know, maintaining the software, um, supporting the sailors and any other stakeholders that are on the projects. And also, um, you know, 
giving uh, updates, you know, delivering updates in a timely manner. And if any issues arise, uh, you know, where somebody's always going out to the ship and, um, you know, helping to remedy whatever issues, uh, you know, arise there. It's great. So whether it be like through your education or through your opportunities at the Navy, you've had quite the career to date in what you've been able to explore when it comes to programming and computer engineering. So yeah. we'd like to know, could you share perhaps a favorite memory that you've had on the job or through Nav Air that really inspired you and led you to feel as though that you were in the right position? Yes, I can definitely say um, that, you know, working on a team every day um, is certainly, you know, you do it every day, but it's very re rewarding when you see uh, the end product. And even, um, you know, obviously I sit at, you know, sit at my desk and work on the computer a lot, you know, with what I do, but seeing um, the testing at the test sites that we have at Lakehurst and being able to see, you um, the aircrafts that come in um, to be tested and to make sure that the arresting gear works correctly because we we do have um, a fully operational arresting gear um, on site at Lakehurst. So being able to see that and seeing how it really works, um, you know, instead of just, you know, understanding how it works is uh, just really amazing. And I think that was the, I guess, coolest part of, you know, uh, what I've experienced so far. And as you know, through your role, the Navy really strides to allow for that communication of cutting edge opportunities and also innovation. So how does your work contribute towards solving those naval challenges? So uh, with that, you know, a big part of, you know, being a part of uh, the Department of Defense and the Navy is um, mission readiness. And, you know, we always make sure that if as I said previous, you know, if any issues do arise with the software or, you know, if an update needs to go out, we always make sure that, you know, we're right on it and, you know, we act as quickly as possible. And that sort of uh, quick turnaround time and being able to aid in, um, you know, I guess successfully fulfilling the mission of, you know, the Navy and its sailors is, uh, you know, definitely, uh, definitely uh, something that we like to do. And looking forward into the future, how do you see science technology, specifically from your career, almost transforming the future? Well, since technology, um, you know, even just I remember from 10 years ago has changed, you know, completely. Um, I, I feel that obviously I think we would go with um, however, however that flows, however technology seems to go uh, in the future. Um, especially, I'm sure, with advancement in, you know, cybersecurity and even uh, just improvement of the software, you know, itself. Amazing. So, Gabrielle, if you were to look back at your high school or college self and had to give a piece of advice to her, what exactly would you be saying? I would definitely say <laughs> always listen um, to especially what my mother has always said to me, uh, which is, um, the answer is always no until you ask the question. And what that means is don't ever be afraid, um, you know, to take any sort of opportunity that may come to you or anything that you may see because, you know, at the moment you may not think, you know, that you're ready for that. But in the end, um, you know, everything is always a learning experience. And, you know, even just me here, um, looking back, you know, to my high school self, which was, let's see, over 10 years ago, when I first started high school, I never would imagine that I would be here today. And, you know, it's just amazing. So just take every opportunity and, you know, just be confident. Thank you so much for this inspirational conversation, Gabrielle. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Samina. And thank you all at home. Be sure to check out our past Naval Horizons episodes and be sure to check in for our next ones. I'm Samina Mondal and this is Naval Horizons.